What's good guys, today I'm gonna show you in this channel here how to create this design since it's day 21 of creating one graphic per day for 30 days. This is a graphic which is pretty streetwear and pretty futuristic. I wanted it to call a Y2K but it's in a middle line of the Y2K type of vibe and uh, a more sci-fi vibe. So I will call it both uh, sci-fi Y2K design. Then I'm gonna create another video that specifically talks about the y2k designs uh, but this is a intermediate let's say design which focuses on creating a back design with a futuristic sci-fi y2k vibe and imprint so hope you like this video i think we can just jump in photoshop and start the process here we are in photoshop so what you want to do to create this sci-fi futuristic y2k type of design is that uh, you want to focus on two main things that will get going with the, the y2k vibe and y2k aesthetic so the first one is of course the font set that you're going to use in this case here the font that i'm gonna use it's not that kind of a y2k related if we think of the back design instead the front design will be mainly of course a y2k logo instead the second thing you want to consider when creating this futuristic vibe is of course the elements that you want to add and even another important things are of course the colors so for the fonts i'm gonna select two main fonts the first one is a really Y2K type of font that we're going to talk about it later. And the second font is uh, a really, let's say, normal, it's a little bit vintage type of font uh, that will go in the back uh, since I really liked it and I wanted to include it in one design. Then for the elements, uh, as you can see, I found this uh, guy here, which is wearing futuristic glasses. And I really like the type of uh, texture over the glasses. And so I decided to put it on uh, Photoshop, I just removed the parts that I didn't want of the photo and added a threshold effect which creates this black and white vintage Y2K type of vibe logo and uh, effect and I really like it because uh, it adds, if you add a texture and a gradient over it, it adds that futuristic but at the same time vintage vibe. So. Uh, then I decided to put a really, let's say, simple and uh, Y2K gradient map, which focuses on blue and pink or purple. But then at the end, I will change completely and make it in another color and I will just play around with it. So for now, this uh, is the font and this is the type of vibe that we want to follow. The word is vision. Why vision? Because it was randomly extracted from a word online generator. For the people that don't know already, I'm creating one graphic per day for 30 days and today is day 21. So I decided to, as always, click on random generate word to generate basically a random word, but uh, the word was vision. So I just decided to grab some a guy with some glasses because vision, why not? It relates with the vision. But then I'm gonna add the spaceships, uh, the earth and some other cool stuff. So for now, this doesn't look a Y2K uh, or even sci-fi design. Since here, I'm just getting started with my ideas and with my design process. But what I wanted to do is to put a spaceship, some other streetwear, and at the same time, space elements to make it more complete, more sci-fi. Then I decided to put some clouds. They were cool, but not that cool, because if you add the gradient map over it, as you can see, it gets a little bit lost, the clouds in the design. So I just decided to go on and just search other cool elements to add. I firstly searched on Unsplash and found this Earth image. Then I added a gradient map over it and a threshold effect. And I'm gonna keep it since I really like it. And I have a cool and brilliant idea to add afterwards on the earth so when you want to think of a sci-fi vibe in photoshop you want to think of even a bootleg type of design a vintage vibe so you gotta keep these factors in mind the first one is that it needs to be all it needs to have one color palette and theme not many colors and it needs to be really really clear what you're trying to show then uh, I think a good thing if you want to create Y2K designs, big designs rather than just the logos, is to actually just search some vintage spaceship uh, space uh, 
type of images since I think that in the past that they were more creative rather than now in these days here. They were more creative and they thought of amazing and uh, sci-fi things uh, such as maybe different type, of, even Star Wars is sci-fi. So uh, this is a way of saying that. Grab some vintage images that then you're gonna edit and uh, as you can see now that I added a skull inside of a helmet, uh, of a space helmet and uh, a type of uh, Star Wars themed structure with a guy that is moving it and uh, as you can see it's really creative uh, and uh, in these days you don't see that kind of vibe so i suggest going on uh, google and just search vintage stuff and then as you can see now it's going along and uh, it's coming pretty well then uh, i'm adding here the last steps and final steps for this graphic uh, such as uh, these uh, birds here why birds in the space well because i needed to add something i saw birds why not it could be another option then here, vision, as I said before, it's in a vintage font. It's a, the font is a little bit curved and bold, and uh, in uh, it just plays a really important role into stating the type of design you're making. I really like it. And now I'm just refining the last details by searching little elements that can just spice a bit the design and make it more futuristic. And basically just to complete this design here, The ideas were many, even of adding some light beam passing anywhere, like in the middle of stuff, but uh, I didn't choose it because as you can see with the threshold effect over it, all the concept gets lost. So I just decided to add this galaxy here, the Milky Way, just in the bottom part as a background, just to add more texture to the final design. So just to wrap up what I've said now and what you're going to do to create a streetwear, sci-fi, Y2K back design is that you're gonna just uh, create uh, the main outline of this design here, which focuses on actually just putting elements and adding threshold effect over it. And uh, of course you need to think of other two key things to create a best Y2K design. One is the color, so bright colors, maybe pink, uh, yellow, orange, uh, bright, bright colors uh, that contrast each other and just create a really Y2K design. Maybe even pink, uh, purple, dark blue, just mess around with colors and find a good color palette to use and the second one is of course the elements uh, for the logos uh, you gotta add maybe stars uh, there are a lot of designs even on youtube here where they show you how to create a y2k logo and they basically add of course like stars uh, themes uh. so this is basically it for the front design i will make another video in a couple of days where I show you how to create a Y2K design. So stick around for that video that will just complete this t-shirt design and this t-shirt project here since now I created the, the back designs. And so in the next video, I'm gonna create the front design in the pretty popular Y2K logo themed design. So thank you for watching. I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye bye.